please welcome SOMD athlete leader Carmen Houston Ludlam and her unified partner Jared Northrop to the screen. Hi, hi everyone. I am Carmen Houston Ludlam and I am a Special Olympics Maryland athlete from Calvert County. My co host this evening is a dear friend of mine who was a unified partner on my high school unified body team, Dirk Northrop. Hello, Carmen, and hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight for our first ever Special Olympics Maryland Quarantine Trivia. I'm your co-host, Jerry Lothrop, former Special Olympic Anne Arundel County champion and state champion. I am completely ecstatic to be here. Tonight, Carmen and I will host a live trivia for everyone to participate in that is tuned into this Zoom extravaganza. When we launch the poll, you don't have to do anything other than make your guess. And you better hope it's the right one. Carmen, do you have anything to add on? And let's not forget about the competition. This this is Special Olympics Maryland after all. The winner of the trivia night will be announced tonight during our DJ Chris Stone's dance party at 8.30. All right, what do you say we get started? The first question is... How many sports does Special Olympics Maryland offer? Answer one, one. Answer two, 17. Answer three, 100. Answer four, 27. How many sports do you play, Carmen? I play four sports. How many do you play, Jared? Well, I played a lot more in high school, but I just finished up playing a little college football. You were the quarterback for our high school too, right? And I was a cheerleader. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Which brings me to Special Olympic Sports. I, partic I participate in cheerleading, dance, swimming, and snowboarding. Snowboarding is not a sport in Maryland yet, but we're working on it. Alright everyone, lock in your answers before we move on. Maryland, uh, Maryland Special Olympics offers 27 sports. Sadly, snowboarding not being one of them. But maybe soon. On to the next question. Our interscholastic pro, uni, unified programs offers five different sports during the school year. One of the sports is blank indoor bocce, two indoor skiing, three dry land swimming, or four horseless jousting. Carmen, you and I both were part of these interscholastic programs. Hey, you were my unified partner in high school. Yes, I was, and we were part of a very good team. It was one of the best times of my life was being a part of that program. Unified partners are friends for life, as you, as you can see. All right, lock in your answers, everyone. The correct answer is indoor bocce. All right, on to the next. Carmen, I think you know a thing or two about this next question. Special Olympics Maryland uses this creative word when referring to athlete leadership opportunities. Alp, alp events, opportunities, as leader talks, or calendar appointments. Tell me a little more about, about your athlete leadership, Carmen. Well, obviously we have the athlete leadership program to think for how amazing I am on camera. I take classes to help me become a better advocate for myself and people with disabilities. Wow, that sounds awesome. And now, for the correct answer, which is opportunities. Albert. Now we're going to expand our sports trivia into basketball. The next question is, the individual skills competition in basketball tests an athlete's skill in all the following, except dribbling, passing, shooting, or score celebration. Carmen, let me see your best score celebration. Well, it's too bad you can't compete in celebrations or you take gold. And that brings you to my answer. The only one not included is 
score celebration. All right, I just want to remind everyone to stay tuned for after our trivia night for a live performance by DJ Kopech from 7 to 8.30 and DJ Chris Stone from 8.30 to 10. And our winner will be announced during that DJ Chris Stone live concert. DJ Kopech will be live on Facebook and here in the Zoom link so we can all dance together. All right, the next question. Special Olympics Maryland currently has one all-female soccer team in the whole state coming from the famous Anne Arundel County. What is their team name? One, the Pink Ladies. Two, the Aqua Assassins. Three, the Purple People Eaters. Or four, the Blue Barracudas. I can tell you one thing right now. The correct team name did not include players like Alan Page, Carl Eller, and Jim Marshall. They also weren't the 1970s Vikings defense. Carmen, do you know a thing about the Purple People Eaters? Boring. I want to talk about fashion. <laughs> Have you seen how cute their all pink uniforms are? Well, thank you for introducing the correct answer, which is the Pink Ladies. All right, now on to the next question. What is the only state competition held outside of Maryland? One, Summer Games. Two, Winter Games. Three, Fall Sports Fest. Or four, Kayak. Special Olympics Maryland competitions are held all around the state, but one of these events is not included. This event is not within the state boundaries of Maryland and is held at the White Tail Resort in the border of Pennsylvania. Again, the answers are Summer Games, Winter Games, Fall Sports Fest, or Kayak. And the answer is Carmen. Well, she was supposed to read this answer, but I don't know where she went. Carmen! Winter Games! Winter Games, because it is held out right till in Pennsylvania. You are correct. Now, on to the next question. How many minutes was the longest recorded point in the history of tennis? One, five minutes. Two, 60 minutes, 3, 29 minutes, or 4, 12 minutes. This infamous point was competed by two women, Vicki Nelson and Jean Hepner, back in 1984. Tying back to the Olympics, tennis was the first ever sport for women introduced into the Olympics. This famous rally lasted 53 shots, and the match lasted a total of six and a half hours. Ooh, exhausting. But the correct answer is 29 minutes, a grueling point. Now, next question. We do hold winter events, such as the plunge. This is the name of our very popular mascot of the polar bear plunge. One, Barry White. Two, Susan Bear Anthony. Three, Aunt Arctic. Or four, Elsa. This year's plunge was the largest one ever, with only 12,000 plunges, with me being one of them. The plunge is a great event, and, and it's the largest fundraising event for Special Olympics Maryland. Last year, it raised over $3.5 million. It is also a blast to spend time with your friends and family before you take your plunge. Last year, we even had a great concert by 303. I wonder where Carmen went this time. Let it go. Let it go. Well, no. The answer is actually Barry White, but good try, Carmen. Okay, let's go back to sports. What America's Got Talent winner performed at the closing ceremonies of Special Olympics World Winter Games in Austria? One. Grace Vanderwall, two, Darcy Lynn, three, Prince Poppycock, or four, Staff. 
I think I could perform at the Winter Olympic Games. Somewhere over the rainbow, birds fly, and the dreams that stop, 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 Jerry! I have my great banner wall, and and you are no great banner wall. You met Grace Vanderwall? Yes! Grace was one of the performers at the, at the cl closing ceremony for the Special Olympics World Winter Games in Graz, Austria in 2017. I also performed at the closing ceremony as a cheerleader and a dancer. Wow, that's cool. And you introduced our next, uh, that correct question correctly, who is Grace Vanderwall. Now, to read this next question, we have a special guest with us tonight, Carmen. Do you want to introduce your friend? Carmen, is anyone home? Here she comes. Hi, uh, well, uh, this is my, my friend Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea, Chelsea, it's an honor to have you on. Do you have anything to say to Special Olympic Maryland athletes out there? Auntie, Auntie, no, let's go, let's go. Auntie, Auntie, no, let's go. Yay! It would be an honor for you to introduce our next question. When was the first international Special Olympics? Their competition held 2015, 2017, 2019, 20, or 2013. Wait, Carmen, weren't you at there? Yes, I was. It was held at the Vibe World of Sports Arena at Walt Disney World in on Orlando, Florida. My Special Olympics training team, the Calvert County Stars took the gold medal in the Palms and Hip Hop Division and the Joy Cheerleaders from Montgomery County. Took gold in the traditional cheerleading division. So, so we have two world champion cheerleading teams right here in, in Maryland. I want their two! I want their two! Well, you were there in 2019, which is the correct answer. There's only two more questions left. Man, where has the time gone? I can't believe this wonderful evening is almost done. Well, the next question. Fit5 tells us that we should do all the following except for, one, eat five fruits and vegetables a day, two, drink five bottles of water a day, three, exercise five days a week, or four, sleep five hours a night. Carmen, do you love sleep? Because I love sleep. Hey, Carmen, wake up! Do you know about the Health of Athletes program? This is a special Olympics program dedicated to the health and wellness of individuals with disabilities, giving free screens to athletes encouraging healthy behavior. There are various disciplines. And the correct answer is sleep five hours a night. Because in fact, you should sleep much more than that. Now, the last question. What is a topic you wouldn't find at the health promotion of healthy athletes? One, bone density screening. Two, height and weight checks. Three, information on nutrition, or four, goat yoga, the newest yoga fad. Wait, where'd she go? We have to wrap up the show. Carmen, Carmen!
while Go Yona might not be a Special Olympic health discipline, but maybe it will, maybe it should be. Carmen, are you ready for this dance party? Go ahead, Adler. Oh. Jared, ask your question. Well, yeah, I'm ready we have for tonight. Tune in to Chris Stone's Dance Party at 8.30 to see the winners of tonight's live trivia. We will certainly be joining to get our groove on. But first, up is DJ Kopeck. Are you a good dancer? I'm a very good dancer. I took dance classes in college. Dance now. Dance now. Dance now. Oh. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Are you a good dancer, Carmen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all that cheerleading comes in to help. Because I got gold medal. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, mm -hmm. there's an army dog mm -hmm. overseas. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm, I tell you one thing I am pumped for this dance party. All these good moves can't go to waste. Me, too. And be sure everyone can stay in the Zoom link to interact with DJ Kopeck himself. All right, great job, Jared and Carmen. Let's get for DJ awesome. Kopeck. 